Ho, oh, what up everybody? I'm sure a lot of you guys know, this is my dad, Bruce, true badass. Now he's a big part of my life. I get to see him almost every day at the shop, which is awesome because we, he lives very close to the shop. But we're standing in front of his class eight race truck and we have some real cool, interesting new products that we're gonna actually showcase on my dad's stuff. Usually I'm the one getting all the new stuff and he's there drooling, but Holly approached me and said, hey, we have this brand new EFI setup that has like a high ram for a small block Chevy because this truck is all small block Chevy base. And I kind of asked my dad, expecting him to be like, no, nah, I don't want to mess with that, but <laughs> he was excited. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They, they uh, released a new uh, program high ram for small block Chevys at PRI. And we talked to the promoters of the racing organization. They said they had changed the rules recently. We could go with direct port injection. So we're going EFI direct port with high ram on this Yeah, one. it's crazy that Holly is still making products for Something that people are not putting a whole lot of love into nowadays. Small block Chevys, it's like the same parts have been out forever and ever. Everyone's focusing on LS, LS. and LT, yeah. but no, not Holly. So let me show you guys around the race truck a little bit. So this is small block Chevy base. How many cubic inches? Uh, this is 434 cubic inches at 13 and a half to one compression. Um, and so it makes quite a bit of, of steam. Yeah, definitely. So we worked with Holly and let him know, hey, we're gonna need these injectors. And for my dad, it's so funny because he's kind of new to the whole, oh, I need this sensor and a, and a TPS and an idle air control. And he's just, he's a carbureted guy. So all of these things are a little bit new to him. But fortunately for us, Holly basically makes a plug and play kit with the Terminator, Terminator X ECU, wiring harness drop in, the, what do they call it? Dual sync for the- Dual sync distributor. Carbur right. Distributor, right. not a distributor guy. Don't even know anything about that. <laughs> Yeah, so you actually sync the distributor, right, digitally. It's got some LED lights. And then during setup, you verify a second and a third time uh, the timing. So it's pretty cool, but it actually uses distributor and conventional plug wires. And it makes it so it has like an LS style crank trigger, cam and crank sensor. Right. So in really, the, really in cool. In the distributor. Well, in the yeah. single distributor. So check this stuff out. I'll show you guys around. We'll walk through my dad's engine room because he's also a pretty badass engine builder himself. He puts together all kinds of stuff for the demo car, all of our boys, his own stuff as well. And then I'll show you guys the Holly products. Awesome. This is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, it's super awesome. <laughs> Look at this thing. So right now we're trying to figure too, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna come dual filters here, maybe a Corvette style out in front of the radiator. So we got some figuring to do, but holy moly, that looks freaking awesome. So right now my pops is putting together a six liter for our lemons car. It has all Texas speed internals. We just got our big order from Texas speed. Um, mild camshaft, trying to keep it real simple, trying to stay within the rules of lemons, that's for sure. But yeah, my dad's got quite the little engine building room. Hi mom. <laughs> in case you can't tell, this is at my dad's house. So he has his truck in the garage and his engine building room, everything in the house. So it's pretty cool that he's able to do all of this here. Yeah, this is actually a LQ9, and we just got it bored. It's getting forged pistons. Uh, put the cam bearings in it yesterday, and the heads are being done right now. I'll put the crank and, and lower end in it today, and we'll keep moving so that Chow and the boys can put the Camaro together. Look at that Chevy orange block. I love it. Happy boy. Yeah, you see, I took the door panels off. So yeah, I can in. get in there. Yeah. It's too hard to crawl in, you know? Old stuff. Heck yeah. Look at all of this freaking stuff. It's crazy to see high ram style intake for small block Chevy. See that? Us LS guys, we don't have water running through our intake manifolds like you guys do. <laughs> yeah definitely old school but it's kind of cool got big ports yeah. my dad was just saying though that he is going to port match this to the heads because he afr your heads afr 245 yeah so they're pretty big heads so but they give you enough material in this so that you can you can cnc port it you can hand port it you can do whatever you want but of course my dad's old school he's going to be hand porting it no doubt about it this is the dual sync distributor that we we're talking about. So this has a cam and crank sensor inside of it. Super, super cool kit. Look how small this uh, MSD is now. <laughs> yeah, that's the new version of the, 
the MS6, and, and it's all digital multi-fire. It's pretty cool stuff. Very cool. And then, of course, this is a wiring harness. This is small block Chevy specific, kind of, right? This is a universal kit. Um, but it's all set up for eight injectors, um, O2 sensor, all the other sensors. It's all pre-wired. Um, so you just, I believe, have four wires to hook up from the vehicle itself. Power, ground, um, switched power, and ground, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And Holly makes it real easy, especially anytime they do a kit like this for their ECUs. It's good. Look at this. Yeah, man. That's, they couldn't have made your life any easier. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just got a, you know, a mile of wire I got to run. Again, so, you know. <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, he sees this, this harness and he's like, oh God, that's a lot of wiring <laughs> compared to, uh, you know, traditional carburetor stuff. Uh, but all right. we'll anyway, he's got his work cut out for you guys. I wanted to share this with you. We'll, I'll show some of the process along the way. We'll do some dyno videos, some comparison. We have a new camshaft going in this. So this is a big step in what I believe a positive direction because now we'll actually have some logging, some timing control, and I think we're going to get a lot more power and a lot more fuel economy because that's obviously always a concern in a desert truck. How many times we ran out of gas in the desert truck now? Uh, two, three? Twice, two or three, yes. Yeah, yeah. So this should help. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to calculate mileage in these things, it, but truthfully, it's been averaging about three and a half miles to the gallon. So <laughs> you can imagine the desert uh, takes a lot of power, a lot of fuel. Hopefully it'll get a little bit better than that and make some serious power. So hell yeah, here we go. So this is the new Holly High Ram, just came out. They had it for LSs previously and now it's available for Gen 1 small block Chevrolet. So this is actually a 434 cubic inch Gen 1 Chevrolet. Class 8 requires that you have a steel block, so it still uses a steel block, although it's dark, but it is steel block. In the back back here is our distributor and it's the Holly dual sync distributor. So that actually syncs with the ECU. Um, it will control timing. And so we're working on it. The manifold in the front right here and then the throttle body goes on and then the air cleaner will actually come up over the top and we're possibly gonna use um, a Corvette style over the top uh, air cleaner assembly. So filtering air is super critical for desert racing. So we're gonna be working through that. Uh, we'll be done on the welding on the intake right now. We just wanted to change the angle on it a little bit. I'm sure Holly will appreciate that. We port matched the intake manifold to the heads. These are AFR 245, so they got a fairly large port. So we port matched the intake manifold. We got all the sensors in it, the injectors, uh, the fuel rails, and the wiring is all in. I just have to finish terminating it and I'll set the timing tomorrow and finish the terminating on the last of the wiring. We've already put the ECU inside and the new MSD6 uh, CDI box and a new coil. So we're at about like 80% now. I'll get the initial programming done with a handheld and then Jay Chang, our tuner, will come finish up the bulk of the tuning and then we'll get it on the dyno and Jay Chang will actually do the from black tracks he'll actually do all the all the dyno tuning on it so i can get the basics done but it requires a uh, jay's expertise for the rest of it <laughs> 